What is going on everybody? I want to show you something that I've been working on. You saw in the last video I talked about how GameMaker released WebSockets, which means we can make online multiplayer browser games with the HTML5 export, which is awesome. I'm so excited about that. So I've been working on a project. It's just a little project, it's a little bit, you know, all my projects are just tiny projects. I totally don't make them so big that I never finish them. I don't do that. So I finish everything I start. Uh, but anyway, it's like a mini um, HTML5 multiplayer MMO RPG. Very easy, very simple. I want to show you what I've got done so far. Um, and it's it's actually about halfway done. It's actually about halfway or 60% done. Super unbalanced game, by the way. But anyway, here it is. I have the project open right now. I have two project files i have the server and then i have the client and i gotta actually like run these at the same time so the client is just regular eight or regular game maker you know windows export um you know I'm, I'm trying to do it all in game maker you know if you were to make an mmo or multiplayer game you wouldn't want to make the server in game maker but i'm doing it because i want to see how far i can go in game maker before i encounter problems so that's why i'm doing this so i have the server that's just going to run as a windows uh, application and then the client is going to run in the browser so let's go ahead and launch these and i can show you what i've got done so far okay got to click f5 f5 i got to do it really fast on both projects if i don't one will not open so here is the server and these little e's are the enemies in the map um so that's what that is is the yeah there it is okay here's the client it's in firefox which is cool because chrome kind of sucks with html5 come on chrome get with it um okay so here's the login um pretty cool we can make a new account which is what we're gonna do so we're gonna make the character name uh one of my old friends on a game called tibia his name was vethix uh we can Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. That was a secret, crap, microphone's falling. That was a secret admin command. You didn't see that. You didn't, you didn't see that. I'm gonna have to kill you now. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, I forgot if I click the number one, it logs into the admin account. That won't be in the game when I release it. So let's try that again. Vethix, uh, let's make this the password. Very easy. Random email, has at yahoo.com. Okay, so we have race, gender, all that good stuff, male, female. Uh, four races, human, orc. I'll probably change the name of this, right, which is like a name for an undead thing, but I don't like that name, right? That's kind of weird. Zorai, which is like, I don't have that done yet, so don't worry about that. So, have different races here, different skins, pretty cool. Undead people, neat. Uh, and then we have nine classes a little ambitious right i only have two of them done so we're just go ahead and be a fighter uh so go ahead and create the account and it actually created it i just don't have it to where it goes to say boom your account's created so let's go ahead and go back and log in okay so we're going to log into the game world and boom we are in the freaking game world so what is cool let's go ahead and open a new tab connecting to the realm and we can actually have two accounts going so if i log in here with another account that i've made username not found what are you talking about okay log in username oh crap i'm sorry i'm on my desktop i'm not on my laptop so i have to remake this account uh, so okay let's just make undead dude let's log you in uh, okay let's try this if we log in there we go so we can uh, we can see both the characters they they'll actually kind of sync up it's kind of hard because uh, they're in two different tabs so let me try to make this do this and now we should there we go now we're synced we're all synced up and we're getting attacked so let's kill these guys uh pretty cool though it totally works 
totally works. So this little red thing is uh, us getting attacked. So which client is this? This is Vethix. Okay, so uh, if I just mouse over him, click it, I'm going to kill the skeleton, which is pretty sweet. And, uh, and yeah, that's what I got done so far, guys. It's pretty cool, right? So we're both in the world. We're synced up here. Uh, let me go ahead and maximize this. Uh, oh, there's one more enemy over there. Okay, so here's kind of how the game works. Uh, basically, you choose your class, but you can change your class anytime in the game, so long as you have the right weapon equipped. So uh, down here at the bottom left, we have our health bar, we have a health potion, we have our weapon, and then our armor. Now, these icons are also your abilities. So the only abilities that you have in the game is the ability that your weapon gives you and the ability that your armor gives you. So you have two abilities that you can have active at any time depending on your weapon and the armor that you have equipped. That's what I'm working on right now. So if I click this sword, right click the sword, you can see that there are nine weapons for my class, which is the fighter class. So there are nine swords that I can actually unlock in the game. And uh, so right now I can't select them because um, I don't have them unlocked. There's no inventory, there's no bag space. You unlock weapons and you unlock armor. So depending on the class that you choose when you create your character depends on the first weapon and the first armor that you actually have unlocked. Now, each, um, each class or vocation as I call them in this game uh, has has uh, their own weapon type. So, you know, for a fighter, I have swords. So I have nine swords that I can unlock for the class four fighter. If I was a, now, let me see, did I make this? No, he's a fighter too. Okay, oh well. Um, so like if I was a archer, um, which I can't pull it up right now because I'm still working on this, uh, this, if I was an archer, these were all, would all be bows. And so you go through the game, basically the point of the game, you go through, you find all the weapons for your class, and each weapon, as you can see right here, this is the bronze sword, it gives me the ability bleed, which does damage over time, 200% weapon damage. So every one of these swords has a different ability. I mean, all the way from stuns to area of effect damage to everything, and each class has their own weapon type, and it's a whole thing. So uh, basically, I could change my vocation, which doesn't work right now. I could go to archer. If I have a bow, I can become an archer. So I have to go find a bow and all that stuff. Now, your armor, there's only, oops, my bad. There's only nine armors in the whole game. So it doesn't matter what class you are, there's only nine different armor types and each armor has its own ability. So as a fighter, I start with studded armor, which gives me block which blocks 50 percent of damage for four seconds when i use it so um let's go ahead and make an archer just so you can see that that works too so uh let's name you wabaloo whoa okay one second my monitor just went out my video card's about to go out like the plug-in thing is totally breaking so i had a black screen for a minute and it's like you can't see it but i can see it it's like messing up okay so i'm gonna choose bowmaster if i can get i'm gonna use my foot to freaking see my monitor okay i can see it i have to use my foot to like plug the cord back in because it keeps messing up okay don't mess up on me okay wabaloo okay so he's a bowmaster so let me log in log in Okay, so Wobbly's in the game, and you can see I have bows. So short bow, his first ability for this bow is full draw, which, which does attack damage. And then his armor is leather armor, so a little bit different than the other guy. He started with studded armor. You start as a bowmaster with leather armor, which gives you kick, which, yeah. Okay, so that's it. And then, like, as a, you know, bowmaster, I can eventually find a studded armor and use that armor and have that ability. So it's pretty cool. So all your abilities come from your weapons and your armor and you can be any vocation at any time in the game. If you find the weapon for it, you can just switch on over and be something else. And I guess I'll show you the vocations that I'm working on and then we'll end the video because this is probably a long video. So there are nine vocations. There's fighter, bowmaster, spellbinder, necromancer, cleric, berserker, berserker. I totally misspelled that. I think maybe assassin illusionist, 
and diviner so all these are way different spellbinder caster necromancer which this is guys cool because one of his weapons lets you when you kill something it has a chance of making that a pet so that's like a pet class uh cleric healer uh berserker area of attack melee dude assassin rogue uh illusionist another cool class that i can't wait to work on you can actually charm most monsters in the game to make them into your pet so they're like a pet slash crowd control type uh class that's going to be fun to work on diviner it's kind of like a healer but a little different a little different healer kind of more mystic-y has some cool area of effect heals that do less heal but heals everybody mainly a buff class for for everybody so that's it let me know what you guys think about this um I might actually finish this. I think I will. Follow me on Twitter. You can follow the project. I'm posting about it all the time. Like I said, it's mainly done. I just have to work, finish the classes and then work on the map. And that's about it. And work on the spells. And that'll be about it. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Follow me on Twitter if you're not already. Thank you for everybody who supports my Patreon. Love you guys. Have an awesome week.